Hello everyone, Bea Grob here. My channel is about mixed media and more. Join me for art journaling, paintings, handmade books or journals and everything else I come up with. Today I share with you the making of my art journal for the 29 Faces Challenge from February 2018. I have prepared in advance my pages and the cover. For the pages I have used the mixed media paper from Canson and for the cover base a file folder. You have seen me scoring my pages which are 6x6 and then I gonna score a spine into the file folder. Off camera I have cut my covers slightly bigger than pages. The next step I did mark the holes for the spine, which I gonna also do for the pages later. So far I had planned to have two signatures and sew them in with three holes. Well, that's gonna change as you see at the end of the video. Just for your information, I did again speed up the video and editing out quite a bit. There are a lot of repetitive steps which I think you don't need to see all the time. So if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and share. I usually have two videos per week here on YouTube. Occasionally I have additional videos or printables over at my blog in the free member area. Now enjoy my process. I will leave you with some music here. As soon as I have to say something, I will step in. Yep, I'm wearing gloves. Whenever I play with alcohol inks, I try to remember that they stain the skin pretty well. And that's exactly what I'm doing here on some Tyvek paper, playing with alcohol ink and isopropyl alcohol. I have it in the spray bottle you can see at the top. I do have different brands and some of them are really old, so time to use them up. As you can see, I just splattered randomly some colors all over the Tyvek. I didn't have an actual plan which color I want to use. I just grabbed and added more fun or so. So I did switch between dropping colors and spraying alcohol, which makes the colors move around. I have my piece of Tarek at least a third bigger than what I actually need, as it will shrink in the process later. Here I'm using some metallic inks, which you have to shake well to disperse the metallic particles. Done playing with alcohol inks. Time for some metallic acrylic paint. Those happen to be from PBO. Any brand would work.
And here comes another fun part, playing with the heat gun. But first I want to mention that you have to be a bit careful. Don't put it on fire. Always move the heat gun around. Make sure that you have good ventilation too. The goal here is to let the Tyrek crinkle and pucker and even get some small holes. And another warning here. The surface can become hot, so be careful when you try to flatten the Tyrek. I wanted the holes to pop a bit more, which didn't work with the color of the file fold cover, so I decided to paint it black with some acrylic paint. I didn't glue down the whole tie rack. I just added some glue on the inside around the edges, as you can see here. I also made the first page for this journal. Here you can see me adding colors in several layers. Next I did play around with some gesso and an old gift card. And 
here I'm grabbing one of my own carved face stamps. I'm gonna stamp it on some tissue paper. There are two reasons for that. First, if I mess up, I don't ruin my background. The other, it tones down the bright colors a bit. A bit similar as if I would add a thin layer of gesso without the bumps that gesso gives. Sometimes I like to remove parts of the layers with a sanding block. Here I'm mostly after the tissue paper. Of course the first page needs a title. So I'm going through my stamps for the right font. For the stamping I'm using Stays on Ink, which is permanent and works on all kinds of surfaces. If you find it difficult to do align the letters or hear the numbers, I have a little trick. I just stagger them a bit, so it looks artsy and nobody knows that we cheated a bit. To make the letters and numbers a bit more visible, I did add some white with the gel pen. To add final touches I use some mark making tools which stays on ink and paint from a Posca pen. Time to assemble everything together. As I said earlier, I have planned two signatures. Well, I didn't think about it when I was doing the faces. I just used the double spreads one after the other. So I ended up with a lot of single page signatures. Well, of course there is a solution. Just use four signatures in one hole of the spine. Worked out well and nobody needs to know, don't you think? I did use a waxed linen thread and used only the top and bottom hole to sew in the first four pages in the first row. 
and then the next four pages in the second row of the spine. To finish up the book I have made some buttons from Makings Clay and now I'm using three strands of leftover waxed linen and tie them to the bottom. Next I start braiding them together. So whenever you do some braiding it is helpful if you can pull a bit on the strands. It just gives you a better control to have a smooth appearance for your braid. I just use an old heavy book on the top of the journal. Here a little flip through all the 29 faces. Okay, I must admit I have more, just couldn't stop. So far I have 31 faces and there is still one page blank. Thank you Marta from Mayala Art for this fun challenge. I will have a link to her channel down below. And here comes a little angel. This video will be in the member area by next Sunday.